And good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Gazin. At the top tonight, they are often the first people that you call when there's an emergency. They're trained to deal with life or death situations. Talking about 911 dispatchers who work at the police station downtown in a communication center they call Metricom. Well, Metricom is now looking for a few good people because they're experiencing a high turnover rate. Our Taylor Alanis has the details on this top story. So they're the people you call when you need help, but is there enough to serve the area? Well, CCPD Assistant Chief David Blackman says yes, but they are always looking for more. He says there are 66 full-time dispatchers and two part-time that work 12 or 8-hour shifts. According to the city's website, dispatchers answer an average of 50,000 calls a month. Blackman says in the world of dispatching, they constantly have workers that move up through the ranks and then go to different jobs as they progress in the field. And some even choose to go to the private sector like the port to dispatch because they might pay more in the stress may not be as high. Blackman says it takes a special kind of person to be a dispatcher. You have to be able to multitask under pressure. So so you're you're on that radio. You have police officers that are that you're dispatching to calls. They're getting to calls. They're relaying information and and you're there with them. And now they're considered first responders. Blackman says it's a demanding but a rewarding job with great benefits. Starting pay for Metrocom dispatchers is a little over $14 an hour during training and then after a probationary period, they make $16.80 an hour and every year there is a pay step. Chief Blackman says it takes about a year to get through training. And for more information on qualifications, expectations, or how you can apply to be a Metrocom dispatcher, you can head over to our website at ktriplitv.com. Joe?